Magnificent, isn't she? Zero to 60 in 3.2 seconds. Fully bulletproof, a few little tricks up her sleeve. There are a few more gadgets than in the previous film, but we're still very much keeping the character and the story in the world now as much as possible. So all looks realistic and very dangerous. Okay, Q, give me something. One of the things I was most pleased with in the last movie was this relationship between Bond and Q. And I felt we could do more of that, so I tried to take it to the next level. Show his workshop, show his mechanical lab. In each individual bay, there were specific vehicles. Aston Martins, boats, motorcycles. Missile launchers. Harpoon guns, as rattling hooks. The childhood dream, really, working on Q's lab. It's really beautifully designed and cluttered with all manner of things. Please excuse the mess. Everything's a little bit up in the air, what with the changes and all. It's all about story and character for me initially, and then we just kind of wrap the sets around them. It's a thinking man's place. And Q's character is an old world soul, being a young body and a young mind, and this is his home and it feels right for him. One last thing for you. Does it do anything? It tells the time. Did you know that Star Trek Beyond is the first Star Trek film ever to be shot mostly in Vancouver, British Columbia, and not in Hollywood? All existing sets, including those of the Starship Enterprise, will be rebuilt from scratch in a large studio in Vancouver. Do you think we will be able to tell the difference? Click here for more cool videos. Thanks for watching.